All right, welcome back. So this week we are gonna finish up talking about opals. I'm gonna share a little bit about the research I've been doing the last two weeks on pricing and how you can find affordable opals and how you can pick which one is the right one for you. I will preface this by explaining, if you're gonna buy opal jewelry, I highly recommend getting it in a necklace or in a pair of earrings. It's a really bad idea to get opal set in a ring or put into bracelets because you use your hands so much during the day and you don't notice it, so you'll try to deny this, but your hands bump into stuff and they knock into stuff all the time. And opals are just so soft. They're really fragile gemstones. So if you buy it in a ring or in a bracelet, it's almost guaranteed to chip and crack or fall out and you don't wanna to have to constantly replace your opal. So earrings and necklaces are the best way to go for that. Now, as far as pricing goes, I took some time and I went to the same website, the same manufacturer that we use at my jewelry store, and I just kind of did some price shopping. I looked around to see what kinds of opals cost about how much per carat. Side note, if you do not quite understand how carats are measured for gemstones, I will be making a short video about that on my Instagram page. So feel free to go check it out. I'll explain how all of that works. So opals are surprisingly affordable gemstones because you have a lot of different options and you're buying it usually in such small quantities that it's easy to find it affordably. It can get expensive when it's something specialty, when it's like a really unique specimen, like something called boulder opal. And I'll explain about that on my Instagram page as well. But as far as jewelry grade opal, you've got a couple different options. You have Australian opal, which comes in a lot of colors. Typically it comes in black or white. You have Ethiopian opal, which typically is like a really blue color. And then you can get lab grown opals. There are tons more options out there, but these are the top options that people are purchasing for jewelry. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. So if you're looking at like a natural grown opal, an Australian opal that's white. As far as I could tell, it's gonna cost about $100 per carat, which may seem like that's expensive, but a one carat opal is decently sized. And compared to other gemstones, that's actually an insanely good deal. Australian black opal, I couldn't find a pretty good price per carat, but I found a one and a half carat opal for $500 and I found a 1.3 carat opal for $300. And that was easily the most expensive option that they had because Australian black opal, it's really hard to find in big enough quantities that you can put, you know, that you can set it into a necklace or set it into a pendant like that. It just comes in such small quantities on its own. You can also buy Ethiopian opals for about $130, $140 per carat. So again, that's super affordable. That's a really good price for it. And then if you are thinking about maybe a lab-grown opal, you're hoping that that's gonna be a little bit cheaper. I have great news. Lab-grown opals at the most were about $50 per carat on mine. So that would definitely be the way to go if you're on a tight budget. I almost always recommend lab-grown stones because chemically, mineralogically, structurally speaking, Lab-grown stones are exactly the same as natural-grown stones. There really is no difference except for where they formed. In this case, however, I personally would rather save up and buy a natural-grown opal than pay for the lab-grown, just because to me it's so much more impressive that nature, without any kind of stimulation from mankind, can produce something so impressive and so beautiful and so enrapturing, I would say. However, if you do decide to buy a lab-grown opal, don't worry that it's gonna be any less authentic, that it's gonna be any less opal-esque. It's gonna be that same beauty. Like I said, it is the same stone. It's just way more friendly to your budget. So that's gonna be all that I talk about for now on opals, unless I get a million more questions about it. But if you do have questions or suggestions or ideas for future videos, please put them in the comments below or you can follow me on Instagram and message me through there and do that. And as always, please like and subscribe and I will be back next week.